So as of January 2023, what does it cost to prepare and file a U.S. design patent application? Hello and welcome. This is U.S. Patent Attorney Eric Kelly. And as you guessed, I'm going to be discussing some of the typical costs associated with preparing and filing a U.S. design patent application as of January 2023. And note on this intro slide you are seeing this is just the cover page of an example U.S. design patent um, on a visor. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, to prepare and file a U.S. design patent application, you are generally going to have three sources of costs, okay? And the first source of cost is going to be the cost of your patent attorney, okay? The second cost is generally going to be the cost to have the patent drawings prepared, and the third cost is going to be the initial governmental fees, okay? So with respect to the patent attorney cost, this is gonna vary, of course, depending upon the patent attorney you work with and depending upon the complexity of the given design patent application that you're trying to get prepared, which is namely how complicated is the particular design in question. And then with respect to the patent attorney fees, you know, that, that's going to vary by a number of different factors. Some attorneys charge a flat rate or fixed rate, like I typically do. Other attorneys work largely on an hourly basis. Some will like some form of upfront retainer. Costs can also vary with the patent attorney to, with respect to whether or not they, the attorney is located in an urban dense area, metropolitan area, like a large city, versus more of a suburban area or out um, in the country. So more metropolitan patent attorneys tend to charge more, whereas a patent attorneys kind of located out in more rural community or suburban community might uh, typically charge less. So all those things can vary. And then with respect to the patent drawings, for design patent applications in particular, and this is as compared to like a utility patent application, the design patent application drawings are, are different. They're still generally black and white line drawings, but they they need to show the design exactly how it's gonna look out in the real world. So it's much more important that the drawings be done well and to scale, and that there's no inconsistencies between the different views of a given object, whereas those kind of issues might not really matter in a U.S. utility patent application. Um, and often with a U.S. design patent application, you're generally gonna have seven different figures and that's going to be one perspective or isometric view. And then you're going to have the six standard orthogonal trick views like top, bottom, left, right, front, and back. And that, that can vary too, depending upon if the design is only shown being shown on from one view or if there are symmetries and perhaps like the left and right side look the same or things like that. You can get you can reduce the number of views. But in any event, patent illustrators often charge anywhere from around $20 to around $100 per figure. And the patent illustrator that I've been working with for years, he charges $20 per figure uh, for, for, for patent drawings for a U.S. design patent application. And for the initial governmental fees, the USPTO, the United States Patent and Trademark Office initial fees, generally at the very minimum, you're going to be paying a filing fee, a search fee, and an examination fee. And in a minute, uh, we'll jump over to the USPTO.gov website and actually show you what those fees are um, in, a, in a second here. Also with respect to the USPTO initial governmental fees, this and this is an optional fee, it's not always required, but if you want to speed up the examination process, you can uh, trigger an additional fee at the patent office to have that process done. And that'll also generally entail an additional patent attorney fee because that that's the speeding up examination process requires you to do, or your patent attorney to do a prior art search as part of that process to speed up examination. But that's an optional process, it's not mandatory. Some clients do it, some do not. Okay, so here's a USPTO.gov website. So we'll look at some of the actual governmental filing fees here, or initial fees. So from the patents area here, we'll then move over to fees and payment. List of patent fees as opposed to trademark fees. 
we'll scroll down. So look, the first one was the filing fee. So here's a basic filing fee for a design patent application. So if you qualify as a small entity, as the applicant as a small entity, then it's $88. Whereas if you qualify as a micro entity, then the filing fee for a US design patent application is $44. So next, the other mandatory fee was the search fee. So scroll down here, here's the search fees. So for a US design patent application, the search fee is $64 if you're a small entity or $32 if you are a micro entity. And then last, the last of the mandatory fees was the examination fee. Examination fees are shown right here. So for a design patent application, examination fee for a small entity is $256 currently. Whereas if you qualify as a micro entity, the examination fee is $128. So those are the three required types of governmental fees, your filing fee, your search fee, and your examination fee. And then we also mentioned the optional, not mandatory fee that you can pay to speed up the examination process. So we'll scroll down here to the miscellaneous patent fees. And you'll see here, request for expedited examination of a design patent application. So if you qualify as a small entity, the USPTO fee for that is currently $640. Whereas if you as the applicant qualifies a micro entity, the current fee for that, to speed up that examination process is $320. Okay, here we have a summary of all this cost information with respect to preparing and filing a US design patent application as of January 2023. So for example, you're, you're gonna have a patent attorney cost. And, and for me, I often charge a flat rate of $600 uh, to prepare and file a given US design patent application. That fee could go up or down depending upon the complexity of the given design. For our patent drawings, my patent illustrator currently typically charges $20 per figure. And it's very common to have anywhere from one to seven drawing figures. Sometimes you can have more. Again, it all depends on the complexity of the design being shown. Are there any symmetries in the design? Are there other configurations or embodiments of the design? But on average, you can often think that you're gonna have seven figures and it's gonna be at least $20 per figure. And then with respect to the three mandatory USPTO, the governmental fees, the filing fee, the search fee, and the examination fee, you can see here's the current pricing for small entities versus micro entity applicants at the USPTO. And this is again, as of January, 2023. So these governmental filing fees, search fee, examination fee, they can change from year to year. Um, last year in 2022, these fees were actually larger. They were more expensive. So they've come down a little bit. So, you know, they, sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down, but just know that if you watch this videos, you know, at some point in the future, these figures for the USPTO fees could be totally different. In any event, for the USPTO filing fee, you're currently looking at $88 for a small entity or $44 for a micro entity. For the search fee, $64 or $32. And for the examination fee, you're looking at $256 or $128. And again, you notice that it's, there's, it's or, right? It's either you're a small entity or a micro entity. So depending on which one of those you are, that's gonna determine the applicable category of USPTO fees that you're gonna be paying. So that, that first top table kind of shows all the mandatory costs that you're gonna to have to pay. And then the bottom table shows some optional costs that could be triggered if you want to speed up the examination process. And we'll get into some additional slides here in a minute as to why you might want to speed up the examination process. But if you do wanna speed it up, you're looking at an additional USPTO fee of either $640 or $320 plus an additional attorney fee of about $2,000, at least for me, um, because essentially what you're doing when you're speeding up the examination process is you're, you are, you're paying an additional fee to the patent office, you're filing an additional form, but the patent attorney, me, I have to conduct a prior art search and that you know, take some time. So that's that's a two thousand dollar fee for flat rate for me if I do the prior art search as part of the process to speed up the patent examination for a U.S. design patent application. 
And then again, just to reiterate, this is all for pricing as of January 2023. You know, in, at any point in the future, these prices could be different. Okay, let's get into why you might want to speed up the examination process and pay those ex extra optional costs. So what you're seeing here is data from the USPTO, from the United States Patent and Trademark Office, and this is from one of their, what they call their patent dashboards data. In any event, what you're seeing here is that, at least as of December 2022, which is the most recent data, it's on average taking in about 16.4 months for the USPTO from the filing date to where that pending US design patent application has a first office action from a, a patent examiner from the patent office, okay? So that's almost a year and a half from the time you file the patent application to when you receive a first office action. And office actions are where the patent examiner points out particular problems that need to be corrected before the design patent application can actually issue into a, a formal US design patent. Some design patent applications don't receive any office action, uh, and some do. But if you can, if you're, if there are, if there is an issue that needs to be corrected, currently you're looking at around 16 months from when you file the design patent application to when you're going to be notified of that potential issue that needs to be corrected. So let's look at some additional data. Okay, next, what you're seeing is some additional data here, and this shows the most recent data from December 2022 on average of how long it took from the filing date of a given U.S. design patent application and until that U.S. design patent application either issued into a U.S. design patent or became abandoned. And that particular average is currently 20 months. So that's over a year and a half, not quite two years. So it's, but it's a, you know, 20 months, it's a significant amount of time. So if you don't want to wait that, you know, period of time, 20 months, more or less, um, then you might want to look at paying the additional optional fees to have the examination process sped up. So you're not looking at this 20 months here. Now, if you do elect to go through the sped up examination process, the goal from the patent office is to get this down to 12 months. So that, that's their goal, 12 months from the filing date. So if you, if you do pay the additional fees to speed up the examination process, on average, you're looking for about a one year time frame from the filing date until you actually know whether you're gonna get that design patent or not. Whereas if you don't pay that optional fee to expedite the examination process, then on average, you're looking for around 20 months, at least at this, this point in time. Lastly, here's some data from the USPTO that shows what the allowance rate is for US design patent applications. So the most recent data, you know, which is basically from the, through the end of last year through 2022, is the allowance rate is currently 82.6%. So that means out of all the US design patent applications filed basically last year in 2022, 82% of them were allowed. And that's an extremely high percentage, at least compared to the allowance rate for US utility patent applications. So essentially, I think what this data shows is that in general, it's easier to obtain a U.S. design patent versus obtaining a U.S. utility patent. So keep, keep this in mind um, as you move forward here. To wrap up this video, I'm U.S. patent attorney Eric Kelly, and we've been talking about the average or general cost with respect to preparing and filing a U.S. design patent application as of January 2023. And just wanted to let you guys know that I work with clients from all over the world and all over the U.S. I have local clients and non-local clients. I'm an intellectual property attorney, so I do handle patent matters, which is what we've been discussing here. I handle trademark matters, which deal with, deals with branding, and I also handle copyrights, which deals with protecting creative content. And then here you can see some of my contact information. So I'm a phone number for calling or texting. And then here's a couple of different emails to reach out to me if you have any questions about this type of material. Thank you. Bye-bye. Please like this video and subscribe to help me reach others about intellectual property matters. If you like and subscribe, the algorithm is more likely to suggest this video to others. And here's some suggested videos on U.S. design patents.